So we got a bunch of new stuff here from Anchor. Uh, well, you guys know that I basically feature everything they put out on the channel, have been for a little while, and they updated so many products to go along with the iPhone 12 and the magnetic charging that's on there. And most recently, they came out with their new tiny little uh, Nano 2 chargers, which take their 30 watt charger and shrink it down even further. So I've been talking about this on a Lou Later show. So that's a 30 watt. This is the Anchor Nano 2 series, a 30 watt, a 45 watt and a 65 watt. And they're tiny, but they move chargers, man. They move units. Anchor is the game. You know, they're doing things. There's no mm -hmm. doubt about it. I don't have to tell you. And they're going to continue their lead here. Anyway, th those ones are here. There's some other more elaborate chargers that can do multiple devices that are in here as well. This is going to be a little bit of an ex unboxing extravaganza as we make our way through many of their new releases. And you see what exactly might fit for you. You can see some of the products are made for iPhone, but a lot of them are compatible with a variety of devices, including, well, these little Nano 2 30 watt chargers. You can use them with anything. And it's kind of wild how they were able to shrink that down. So actually, why don't we just start with this one right here? So I have three different Nano 2 options. There's a 30 watt, 45 and 65 watt. So all the way up to your variety of type C devices that need more juice like your laptop. It can truly be one charger to rule them all. But let's kick it off with the littlest one, the 30 watt. And look at that tiny little brick right there. So this is the 30 watt Nano 2 IQ3 technology. And the important part here is there's plenty of 20 watt chargers on the market that are actually bigger than this one. That's what that Gantech gives you. So this is capable of charging an iPhone 12, for example, three times faster than the five watt power brick that you may have hanging around still. And if you have a Samsung phone or otherwise, then this is gonna take advantage of whatever fast charging you have built in there. Okay, let's take it up a notch. Let's move to the 45 watt version. And it actually doesn't scale up that much in size. So you go up a little bit, but you get yourself 15 extra watts. And now we're able to charge up some laptops and we get the flip down prongs, making this something that's easy to stick in your pocket and is not necessarily going to poke you. So I actually kind of like that. It's still super portable. In fact, when you factor in the fold down prongs, it's not much of a size increase. It's mostly just the depth. This is gonna be a go-to right here at 45 watts in that particular form factor. But then there's the final unit, which is the 65 watt, which is actually the amount of power that I would typically need for the Ultrabook laptop that I use and charge over USB-C and currently have a charger that's way bigger than this. That is insane. That is 65 watts in that tiny little power brick, totally pocketable. Man, I've seen so many power bricks that ship with laptops over the years and some of those 65 watts are at least twice the size of this. So that is a huge improvement, especially with the flip down prong. So glad to see that they continue to improve the Nano lineup and continue to offer the one charger to rule them all. Uh, in an ideal scenario, you just pick the charger that has enough power for whatever the largest device you're gonna be charging. And then that thing is more than capable for any smaller device below there. So whether it's a laptop or a smartphone, this is gonna be more than capable, at least for my current setup, 65 watts is plenty. 45 watts might be okay for you, depending on your laptop. And of course the 30 watt option, if it's mostly mobile devices that you're charging. All right, also in here, this is called PowerCore Magnetic 5K. So I presume seeing the magnetic portion in there, it's going to interface with Apple's latest magnet capable devices. And this one also includes a USB type C cable. Cool. And what do we have? Oh, so this is their new power brick, their portable charger, which is also capable of being a little backpack on the back of the iPhone. So let me just see how this works. So this is an iPhone 12 and I presume I just do something. Look how convenient that is. Just slap it on like that, 
Just power it on. You see the little blue LED in this location over here. Of course, you charge this guy up with the type C connector. This is 5,000 milliamp hours, but I can still use my device like this. Now, I remember in the old days, I would be out at the convention center at CES looking at new gadgets and my phone will be dying because you're using it all day and you have to make a phone call or something. You will have an actual cable going between your device and your power pack and you'd be holding it, kind of squeezing it because it didn't have the magnet to secure it there. So here, the phone is still fully functional whether you're having a phone call or using it in this fashion. It doesn't interfere with your usage while it's attached and charging. Now with 5,000 extra milliamp hours, this thing can provide like an extension of 17 hours of video playback when included with your phone. It also slips into your pocket. Oh, and apparently it also works through cases. So let me go ahead and give that a shot. Now this is obviously a very thin case. This is later case, so I can't speak for all cases that are out there, but let's go ahead and see if that's true that it works. And it does, boom, and it sticks. So if your case is thin, like the later case happens to be, then your magnetic accessories like this one are gonna work straight through it. I mean, that's kind of a convenient little package right there. See, one of the hassles with carrying around an extra power bank is also having the cable. And you can see like when you have, it, I mean, this one's tied up kind of nicely, but when you're carrying the extra cable in the pocket, uh, it's, it's not ideal. This one, check it out. I could go onto the back, go into the pocket. I'm still, I'm charging in the pocket right now. I pull it out, still charging, lovely. No stress on the connection point on the device and no stress on the connection point on the power bank. So magnets are beautiful, you already know it. And Anchor's finally taking advantage of it, Power Core Magnetic 5K. Okay, what is next? This is the Power Line 3 Flow USB C with Lightning Connector. Oh, I think this is the cable that I was looking for, actually. Now, I presume, because it does have this USB C port, that you could probably charge something up via the cable. Let's go ahead and verify that. It is. So, this is a Type C to lightning cable, very soft touch material. And I don't know what you think about this tone. I think Kirk might get into that tone right there. Now, what I was curious about is, can we take our type C connection over here on the power bank and plug it into the phone and charge, and you can charge up that way too. So that's a two way port capable of charging the power bank itself. And then also uh, allowing you to use a, your type C connector to charge any device. It could be an iPhone, it could be an Android device, it could be, uh, a tablet, whatever you want out of this 5,000 milliamp hour battery pack. All right, next up, we have the Power Expand 8-in-1 USB-C PD 10 gigabit per second data hub. So this is some sort of an expansion unit. Oh, very nice. All right, so this is useful for laptop users mostly that are lacking ports, individuals on something like a MacBook Pro where you need to get some ports back. This is gonna take your single type C connector and then give you a full size HDMI port, a USB 10 gigabit per second port. This is power delivery input. On the other side, you have a micro SD card slot, full size SD card slot, and two USB A ports all over one Type C cable. Oh, and of course, hence uh, the name, you get an Ethernet connection as well for wired Ethernet. This is the type of thing that'd be, be really useful around the studio here. There's a lot of people working on laptops with limited port availability, need to upload things quickly. Willie Do could use something like that. Um, and then also, I guess this is a little pouch for it. It is. Yeah, we just slide that in, I guess, for protection. What do we do, put the cable in this side? Sure, why not? We can do that. Nice. Okay, things are getting larger now. This is the PowerWave 3-in-1 stand with watch charging cable holder. I presume this is a multi-device charger for maybe Apple users that have like a watch and whatnot, or that might be this next one. Let's see. Oh, God. Um, so it's a platform here. Definitely a spot for a smartphone and a wireless charger on the side. This looks like 
a little platform, a little base for this. So this clips on. Ah, so you get to run your cable. Look at that. You get to run your cable through the underside for better cable management. So it comes out the back here. It's kind of a nice touch. So it looks like what happens is <clears throat> this piece clips in right here and then provides you with a spot to put your Apple provided Apple Watch charger, which shipped with your Apple Watch. So you can lean it up like that. So you would have your Apple Watch, your AirPods, and then your iPhone, presumably. But again, it's gonna work as a wireless charger, Qi compatible wireless charger for any smartphone and any accessory that supports wireless charging on this little pad portion over here. So the base just snaps on like that. It has some little rubber feet on it. This, so this is a bedside table type of situation. And the watch portion is removable. So if you're not gonna use the watch portion, you can uh, take that piece out as well. Okay, last up is the PowerWave Magnetic 2-in-1 stand. So I presume this is going to be for two devices rather than three. Oh, interesting. So this is a different design. Check this out, I kind of like this. So here is the base. This is gonna sit, well, on your desk or on your side table and you can see this portion is gonna have a magnet on it, which is cool. And then this looks like another Qi compatible wireless charger down on the bottom portion for a secondary device and then a single USB type C connector over there on the back. If I grab the phone, slap it on there, convenient position to interact with it. Also magnet working again through the case. Nice. And then I can also change the angle of it if I choose to. It would be pointing down a little bit more, up a little bit more. Video conferencing would be useful. Uh, well, even, even recording a front facing video would be useful. It's kind of like a mini little tripod or a rear facing video for that matter. But, oh, what about, and check it out, landscape even for watching video spins quite freely. Oh, that's just my phone spinning around the magnet. Cool. Very smooth, actually. And then, of course, with this charger down at the at the bottom there, it could be uh, some AirPods that you plop on there or some other Qi compatible device that you also want to charge up. They've included an LED light here as an indicator to let you know you've installed it correctly. Now, one of the benefits with the magnet style wireless charging is that you hit your spot every time you can be sure that your coils are lined up so long as you have it sticking there. So that's kind of cool and very uh, Apple-esque. Like I think this thing sort of fits in with the whole aesthetic and whatnot. They've also included a type C to C cable in this particular package. So there you have it. Many different options from Anchor. They continue to pump out new and innovative products and tremendous number of charging solutions. As boring as it may seem to you, my favorite product of the entire lineup is this little Nano 2 65 watt GAN charger, which again, I've been on this hunt for this one charger to rule them all, one charger that can deal with all my variety of devices and be the most portable possible. And this is gonna be tough to beat right now. I can plug everything from my laptop to my phone to my tablet and carry one brick, one type C cable, just a very slick implementation. So you go ahead and let me know down in the comments, which of these new anchor devices is most interesting to you? Is it the tiny new little power bricks, the Nano 2? Is it the uh, little hub to expand the usage of your laptop? Is it one of these two wireless charge stands? Or is it maybe this one? Because for me, this is probably a close second to the power bricks. The magnetic power core magnetic 5K, which takes the concept of a power bank and just makes it even more convenient, at least for your Apple devices. So anyway, yeah, let me know down in the comments. I'm curious to see what you guys think.